time to dish with Dee. That's me. We're going to do something a little different today. We're taking you along on some errands. So come along. Not quite sure where I'm going, but you'll find out when I get there. And I'll find out when I get there. First stop. Let's see. Oh, look at the pumpkins. Thank you. funky pumpkin. I love creepy pumpkins like that. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, pumpkins, pumpkins. Oh look, look at the creepy pumpkins. There's a whole table of creepy pumpkins. Ooh, I don't know what they... It's like they have a fungus on them. They're very cool though. For Halloween. I'd certainly get these. Pumpkins, five dollars. Not too bad. These are pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, pumpkins up the wazoo. Oh, look, my favorite, my favorite. Oh, look, you can actually pop it. That's pretty cool. Indian corn, there. This is popcorn. Very cool. That's super cool. I might want to try that. outside and look they have a whole setup for you can take pictures with um in the hay bales or the bales of hay i would call them hay bales or <laughs> look at that all those cool pumpkins you could sit i could vlog from here what do you think vlogging from like being in the hay Hey, it's time to dish with Dee. It's me. It's me. Let's dish in the hay. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting farm stand. There's still more to see, though. Can we go over here? My friend, Mr. Pumpkin. Pretty cool. There's a crap ton of pumpkins here. Look at this. You can go here. Yeah, I could, I could vlog being... Let me try that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if I could vlog being Sally, but you never know, I tried. I love Indian corn. Don't worry, I'm not saying anything important if you can't hear me, because I'm in here. So don't worry about if you're saying, hey, did you we can't hear you? No, I'm not saying anything important. It's more to look than to actually listen to me talk. Let's see what's over here. My favorite squash. And of course, local honey. Wouldn't be a stand without some local honey and apples. It's an apple. Hope you enjoyed that one. You might not be able to hear me because people look at you really strangely when you're talking on your phone. But you can see a lot of cool stuff. So on to the next one. Not sure where I'm going to wind up now. All right, I am at Phillips in Kennett Square. And guess what Kennett Square is if you don't know? It's the mushroom capital of the world. I know, I live close to the mushroom capital of the world. Let's go see what there's mushroom exhibits. I don't know, I'm gonna take you along. Mushroom Museum. Oh, this is going to be real interesting. Look at that. Mushrooms as far as the eye can see. Oh, if you can tell what guys you can see. It's beautiful out here in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. Let's go inside. Look at all about mushrooms. Fun with fungi. There's a book here called Fun with Fungi. Fun with Fungi. 
Ooh, I love stuff about mushrooms. Look, you get to watch a movie about mushroom nutrition. Shiitakes, oyster, royal trumpet, and over here we have portobello and cremedium white mushrooms. Looks like the mushroom, how they root. It's making it moist in here so you can grow mushrooms. Look at that. Mushrooms. Oh, look at these. Oh, crazy. Wow. Very moist in here. Oh, that's Ooh, look at those. Look at the ones that I got at my house. Oyster. Mushrooms. This is a controlled fungi experiment. Mushrooms reproduce by producing spores. One mushroom can produce as many as 30 billion spores each day. If you have a history or allergies to spores or any other respiratory concerns, please enjoy our gummy exhibit. Oh gee. Mushroom note cards. <laughs> yeah, because we are in the mushroom capital of the world. Ceramic shrooms. <coughs> Cute. These t shirts. Sale table. Love the sale table. <gasps> Look, mushroom ornaments for your Christmas tree. <sighs> oh my god. I love it. How cute is he? Oh yeah, this is the mushroom capital of the world, that's for sure. Look at this. Mushroom table and chairs. A mushroom mug. Fresh mushrooms from the source of all mushrooms. I'm getting some portobellos. And I'm ending my trip here at my favorite store, Home Goods. Let's go in and see what they got. crazy but you saw the shelf that I showed you has all my favorite stuff on it and I did get my um, monk fruit sweetener all right where to next I'm not sure I'm hoping we go home
I thought I'd share what I got at the um, Phillips Mushrooms. I got fresh portobello mushroom caps, and these four came to, I think, $4.99 for four, five mushroom caps. I've got a Phillips sh shiitake slices, and she was nice enough to give me a recipe for shiitake bacon that you make with these. So yeah, I may be doing that. It sounds really, really interesting. He says it's really, really good. So I'm a little bit excited. If you want to see it, I'll turn it over. You can look at it. So there's the shiitake bacon. And I had to show you these because they're hilarious. My husband picked these up. Garlic mushrooms, marinated mushrooms. This is what I thought was hilarious. The Woodlands Phillips General Toes Portobello. I mean, it looks really good there, doesn't it? I thought you could add like chicken or shrimp. It'd be really, really good. We got portobello tapenade and Hungarian mushroom soup. Look, at there's some dried mushrooms in there. So yeah, that's my little haul. Okay, sorry about that, the phone rang. So I'm to share what I picked up at the mushroom capital of the world, Kenneth Square, Pennsylvania. And here's the place I went to, Phillips. Apparently they ship out all over the world. And there was, I showed you the museum, I showed you the store. Now I showed you my haul. So, thank you for joining me. Just wanted again, thank you again for joining me in a little trip today. I was off from school, so we took a little, we were supposed to go to Lancaster. As you know, I wasn't feeling well. So we just want to go someplace that wasn't too far. And I've always wanted to go to Kenneth Square because it's the mushroom capital of the world. And when there, you buy mushrooms. So, we went on a few different stops. Thank you for this. I've never done a video like this, so let me know what you think. If you liked it, maybe I'll do another one of these. You know, try something new, you know? You never know. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. If you're new here, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell to dish with the uploads. I just got approved. Oh, I'll tell you another time. There's some, Dish with D has news coming, so be prepared.